Good morning. Welcome to the Morning Touch. I'm Darwin Campbell. The Morning Touch is brought to you by the Chaplaincy of the Homeless and FSBC in Glendale for your encouragement. And it is our hope this weekend that you are encouraged as we go into a very important weekend, the final weekend before the election cycle, and we select another leader of this country. But before we do that, I want to talk to you about decisions. You know, when I grew up, I grew up uh, in a small town, and I can tell you that when small town kids get together, especially on days like today, which is Halloween, a lot of strange things happen. And I used to have a group of friends who always wanted to pull pranks and do mischievous things. And one of the places that they'd always hit would be Farmer Johnson. And Farmer Johnson, they would like to run and, and slap his uh, farm animals and paper, uh, toilet paper, his trees and, and bang on his windows, running through the yard. A lot of that you wouldn't be able to do today because you'd probably get killed. But back in those days, it was very simple and very rural and a lot of fun. And oftentimes the youth would get together and they'd say, okay, who's in? Who's in? Who's down? Who wants to do this? And a lot of times they'd look over at me and uh, I would be the spoiler. I would be the guy to say, no, I'm not going to do that. I would make a decision not to do uh, Farmer Johnson and his animals and, and mystery, I would not do that. It reminds me a lot of when we're put in positions where we have to make choices. We, we either go with the crowd or we stand alone. And there is such a case in the book of Mark where Jesus confronted the rich young ruler. The Bible says in chapter 10 verses 17 through 20 as he was getting on a journey a man ran up kneeled before him and asked him good teacher what must i do to inherit eternal life why do you call me good jesus asked no one is good but one god you know the commandments do not murder do not commit adultery do not steal do not bear false witness do not defraud and honor your father and mother he said teacher all these things have i kept from my youth then Jesus looked at him in a loving manner and said, You lack one thing. Go and sell all you have and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. But he was stunned, the Bible says, verse 22. Stunned at this demand, and he went away grieving because he had many possessions. You know, like that small rural town with those small rural kids, the rich young ruler had a decision to make. The question was, what's it going to be? Are you in? Are you down? Are you with us? Yes or no? The rich young ruler, when asked that question, will you stand with Jesus? Will you follow him? When he was asked to give up his possessions, when he was asked to change his attitude, the rich young ruler grieved and he walked away. He could not surrender himself. He could not surrender his heart. So he walked away from the greatest prize, the greatest riches that one could enjoy forever, eternal treasure. Too many today trade eternal treasure for fool's gold. Too many people do. You and I, like the rich young ruler, have a decision we have a choice to make and the decision and the choices that we make will determine our eternity what's it going to be are you down with jesus are you willing to follow him or will you walk away grieving keeping that fool's gold close to your chest are you down with making the right decision and the right choices that will lead to eternal security? Or will you just haphazardly follow the crowd and the popular group? We have a decision to make, even in this election. When it comes down to this election, are you down with Jesus Christ? Are you down with making decisions that Jesus would make in the same situation? When you look at the decisions that you have to make and you compare them with what God wants, are you down? 
Or will you walk away like the rich young ruler and say, I can't do that. I just can't let it go. When it comes to life, where does life begin? The question is, will you protect the lives of millions of unborn children? There have already been millions of them aborted. Will you protect millions of lives of unborn children? Are you down? Will you follow Jesus? Will you make that decision to protect millions of lives? When it comes down to family, will you give your children God's values from the Bible? Will you teach them to depend on God? Or will you hand them government values, which tells you to be a loyal slave of the state, to listen because government knows best? Are you down with following Jesus and grasping and holding on to God's spiritual values? Because you see values and character and discipline they'll shape this nation or they'll tear it apart. Three, when it comes to marriage, are you down with what Jesus says about marriage? In every case in the Bible, in every marriage in the Bible, from the beginning through the New Testament, man and woman, the Bible defines marriage. Are you down with Jesus and God's definition of marriage. How do you define a relationship? God defines it, man and woman. The world has defined it recently, saying that it can be anything, a man and a man, a woman and a woman. I believe that it's important for you to ask yourself, are you down with Jesus? Standing there like the rich young ruler right now, are you down with God on life? Are you down with God on family? Are you down with God on marriage? Which direction will you go? You stand at the crossroad like the rich young ruler. When Jesus told him the truth, he grieved and walked away saying, I just can't do it. When it comes down to what Jesus is asking you to do in following him and making the right decision about marriage and family and life, are you down to go with Jesus, to follow Jesus? Or are you just going to grieve and walk away? You and me, like the rich young ruler, have a decision to make. Even down to this election, the issues are contained within the platform. Life is there. Family is there. The definition of marriage is there. It's all contained within the platforms of the decisions that you have to make. The question is, will you follow Jesus or will you be like the rich young ruler and hang your head and walk away knowing what Jesus says about life, family, and marriage? The choice is yours. We're not here to tell you what to do or how to do it, but we're here to advise you on what God says and what the Bible says. And we hope that you choose God, not government, for your values. The Morning Touch is brought to you by the FSBC in Glendale and is brought to you by the Chaplaincy of the Homeless. We hope, trust, and pray that this has been encouraging to you. We hope that it gives you something to think about. We are all standing at the crossroads. And standing at the crossroads, we must decide, what's it going to be? Are you down with Jesus? God bless you and keep you. Have a great weekend. See you next time on The Morning Touch.